in their education send help my business will collapse if you don't help me send me help Lord place me on a large place you are the God that answers. You are the God that is answers. You are the God that answers. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. I pray for you as your pastor. Yes. That whatever distress you have this morning, Amen. that the Lord will answer you with good answers. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May God send you help. Send help May God Lord. send you help. Amen. May He send you help Amen. at your workplace. Amen. People who are planning and plotting against you, yes. we command them to lose power now. Amen. In the name, in of, the name Jesus. of Jesus. May, may, may they be dumbfounded. Amen. May they be made blind. Amen. May their tongue cling to their to the roof of their mouth. Amen. They shall not prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Name of may Jesus. God help you with your business. Amen. Whatever business you do, yes. I pray for help now. I receive it. This week, yes. may you be placed on a large place. Amen on a large place Amen. may God send you opportunities Amen. may God send you wisdom Amen. you will know what to do this week Amen. La -la open your mouth and tell the Lord show me what to do show this week to do, oh show me what to, show do, me this what week. to do this week direct Lord. my path my order, my steps. order my steps oh this week. This week. show me what to do show me where to go show show me, me. help me I am limited I am limited I don't know but today this morning I call upon the name of the Lord and your word says and you will answer me and you will place me on a large place on a broad place financially spiritually mentally in the name of Jesus receive it now in the name of Jesus second prayer the Bible says the Lord is on my side. Ah, the Lord is on my side. That's a good amen. place to shout a better amen. Amen. Somebody say the Lord is on my side. The Lord is on my side. You know, it doesn't matter who's against you. Mm. As long as the Lord is on your side. Oh, yes. Yeah, even the CEO might have been told several things about you. Yeah. That might make him fire you. But if the Lord is on your side, yes. he will try to write a letter and sign and it cannot be signed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is on my the side. Lord Confess it. Side. Shout Lord and say, the Lord is on my side. 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 Then what will happen? I will not fear. Amen. You know why many of us don't make progress in life? Mm. It's fear. Mercy. You are always afraid. Yeah. Afraid of failure, yeah. afraid of being laughed at, mm. afraid of what will people say, yes. afraid of what making decisions. Mm. But to, today, this morning, yes, we are breaking the spirit of fear. Amen. Look, the spirit of fear is such a powerful weapon. I'm mm. telling you, if mm. you can really be truthful, yeah. you will see that it is fear that has caused you not to move forward. But can we bind that spirit? We will bind it. The Bible says, I will not fear. What can man do to me? Ha! Ha! Whatever man, be it mm. a witch doctor, mm. be it a thief. Yes. Who else? He's scaring you. The landlord. The landlord. Yes. <laughs> Lift up your hands and say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus oh, Lord, oh Lord, I believe, I believe you, are you are on my side. As I clap my hand, As I, clap my I hands, bind the spirit of fear. The spirit of fear, fear, fear that, has crippled me, that has crippled me, that has caused me not to do anything with my life. Right now, I set myself loose set myself from, loose fear, from fear, fear, fear of man fear of in man, the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. What can man do to me. Me. Rabba, 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 Rab
I, I wish you can pray. I bind the spirit of fear. I bind the spirit of fear. I rebuke it out of my life, out of my career, out of my decision making. Oh, two more minutes. The spirit of fear. I bind you. I bind it up. I bind you. I rebuke that spirit up. It is not the spirit of God. God has not given us the spirit of fear. The Lord is on my side. In Jesus' name, I bind the spirit of fear. To, today, after the service, you will encounter your fears. You will push forward against your fears. In the name of Jesus. You will not fear to be rejected. Amen. Because the Lord is on your side. Amen. You will, those things that have crippled you, I bind them now in the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, the Bible says that the Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Mm. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. If there are men and women planning and plotting against you because they hate you, May your desires for them be seen. Amen. Not their desires for you. Yes. So you can deliver your yes. part. Yes. Amen. Amen. The Lord taketh my part with them. Can you give me another version, please? So that people can understand. The Lord is for me. Those who help me. Among those who help me. Wow. Therefore, I shall see my desire on those who hate, hate me. me. Ah. Ah. Verse number eight. I don't feel like you're happy about the scriptures. We are happy about the scriptures. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. How many of you have been failed by man before? Hey, a man, a man has times, failed. Many times. May God send you people to help you this week. Amen. I pray my God send people to help you this week. Amen. And may the people who hate you, may yes. they be disappointed in the name Amen. of Jesus. They want your collapse. Yes. They want your shame, mm. but they will not see it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your hands, say, oh Lord, oh Lord, send me help this send week. Me help this send week. me help this week. Send me help this in week. every area of my life of my that life. I'm in distress, send, send, help. send me help. As I clap my hands, I, clap my hands. I receive help from I above. Help. Me help, help is on the way. Send me help. Send me help, help, send me help. 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 with my finances. Help with my health. Help with my career. Help at my workplace. In the name of Jesus. Let there be help. Help from human beings. Help from angels. Help from the Holy Spirit. Help from strangers in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I receive help in Jesus' name. Now lift up your hands and say, Every desire of my enemy. It is brought to nothing. It is brought to nothing. I cancel it. I cancel it. I pray for confusion in their account. Whatever their desire for me is, as I clap my hand, they receive confusion. They receive confusion. Confuse them now. In the name of Jesus. They the desire for me to fail, to lose, to be destroyed. Right now, as I clap my hand. I pray that their desires will be brought to nothing. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Final prayer as we prepare to praise and worship. 
We are praying our final prayer. You will not die this week. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you want to pray that prayer or you are tired? We want to pray that prayer. Verse 17. The Bible says, I shall leave. Amen. Verse 17. I shall not die. Wow. All right? All right. I shall leave, but I shall not die, but leave. Amen. I shall not die, but leave. And declare the works of the Lord. Amen. Any spirit of death. Yes. Moving around. Yes. Looking for somebody to destroy. Mm. And to kill and to annihilate. Yes. As we lift up our hands, we, we confess hands. in the name of Jesus. In the name Say of in Jesus. the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I shall not die. I shall not die. I will leave. I will leave. And I will declare, and I will declare the works of the Lord. The as, of I the Lord. Clap my hand, as I clap my I hand, I paralyze the spirit of death. The spirit of death. I shall live. I shall live. I shall not die. I shall not die. My family members my will family live. Members will live. They will, not die. they will not die. Anybody that is sick, anybody that right, is, now, right now, we send healing, we power. Send healing power, healing power, healing power, healing power. Healing power. by your stripes, Lord Jesus. We are healed. We are healed. Father, we stop death. We stop death. It will not work here. In the name of Jesus, I cover everybody with the blood of Jesus against death, against sickness that leads to death. In the name of Jesus, your stomach is healed, your heart is healed, your mind is healed, your body is healed. Receive strength, receive healing. I shall live and not die. I shall live. I shall live. I shall not die. In the name of Jesus. I wish you can say it. I will live. I will not die. My life is a long life. Is a long fruitful life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am a testimony. I will declare the goodness of God. In the land of the living. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. You shall leave. Amen. You shall not die. Amen. I say you shall live. Amen. And you shall not die. Amen. Anything that was written that you will die in 2022. Yes. I rub it with the blood. Amen. I rub it with the blood of Amen. Jesus. Amen. I rub it with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Anything that I say that there will be funerals upon funerals in your home. Yes. This year. Yes. I stop it now by the hand of God. Amen. I stop it by the hand of God. Amen. As you clap your hand, Hallelujah. we stop it. Yes. We stop funerals. We stop, funerals. We stop death. We stop death. We stop we hospitalization. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. This, year, this year, you will not be hospitalized. I will not be hospitalized. You will not be hospitalized. I will not be hospitalized. You will not be crippled. I will not be crippled. In the name of Jesus, I will not be involved any accident this year. I cancel accidents. In the name of Jesus. Sudden diseases. In the name of Jesus. We them. In the name of Jesus. We bind no diseases. We bind cancer. We bind cancer. We command it out of your body. We command it out of our body. Out of your bodies. Amen. Cancer. Cancer. Heart attacks. Heart attacks. High blood pressure, high blood diabetes, pressure. diabetes. Whether it runs in your family line oh, or not, yes. we stop it now. We stop it now. Stomach we ulcers, stop stomach ulcers. Rampala, we stop diseases, meningitis, we stop diseases. Meningitis. COVID nineteen, COVID nineteen. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I shall not die. I shall not die. I shall live. My children will live. In the name of Jesus, my spouse. Will will leave. Leave. My spouse will my leave. Friends will my leave. friends will leave. My brothers in and sisters will leave. I, in the name of Jesus. My parents will leave. No disease shall take us out. In, the name in 2022, of Jesus. we shall leave. In the name of we Jesus. shall prevail. Thank in you, Jesus Holy name. Spirit. Amen. Why don't you lift up your hand and thank Him for hearing our prayer? Oh, thank you, Lord, for healing us. 
Thank you for healing us. Oh, hallelujah. Thank, Thank you for you. preserving us. Thank you for your Look preservation, at me, Father. Oh Lord, and answer my prayer. Restore, Restore my strength. strength. Don't let me die. One more time. Look at me. Look at me, oh Lord, and answer my prayer. Restore my strength, don't let me die. Look at me, oh Lord, and answer my prayer. Restore my it now in the name I of Jesus I say receive it now in the name of Jesus why don't you clap your hands and welcome the praise and worship team you can do much better for Jesus do you believe that our God is faithful yes come on by a show of hands how many believe that our God is faithful Amen. and how many believe that what God says he'll do he'll surely do it do you believe that his promises are yes and amen? Amen. That's what we want to say this morning. Amen. amen. God of Abraham, you're the God of covenant. Faithful promises, yeah. Time and time again, you have proven you do just what you say. Sing, go and strong make up.
of God. He has been a faithful God. How many times have you been unfaithful to God? But he remains faithful. The Bible says in Psalms 119 verse 90 that his faithfulness endures to all generations. Our God has remained to be a faithful God and even now he is a faithful God. Why don't you lift those hands to Jesus all over the sanctuary. Just raise your two hands. Thank him for his faithfulness. Think of the many times that you've been unfaithful to God, but he has still remained to be a faithful God. His faithfulness endures to all generations. He never changes. He never changes. The Lord has been faithful to us as a church. He has remained a faithful God. Raise those hands and thank you for his faithfulness. He is a faithful. For your faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, O Lord, my Father. There is no shadow turning with thee.
everybody say Great is thy faithfulness Great is thy faithfulness Morning by morning New mercy I see All I have ever needed
come on. You see, you see. When we're praising God, tell your neighbor, I cannot praise God for you. You know, I can see some people saying, Jehovah turns. Let me show you how some people are doing it. Jehovah turns my life around. Do you know that's how God is going to turn your life around like this? But for us, who know how we want God to turn our lives, we feel even like this. Like this, like this. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. Hey. One more praise for Jesus.
your hands together and appreciate the Lord for what he has done for you in Jesus name amen I want to read a scripture you know sometimes when I see some people the way they dance when they are told to do they cannot do it they are saying our to akona energy I want to give you some reasons why you should praise the Lord when you come to the house of the Lord why you should let yourself go amen amen let's go to Psalms chapter 103 gives give me Psalm 103 NLT can we read together one two three it says let all that I am praise the Lord with my whole heart I will praise his holy name so number one you you praise the Lord because he is holy because he's a big God verse 2 we will sit down relax <laughs> let all that I am praise the Lord may I never forget the good things he does for me one of the reasons why you don't praise the Lord is because you forget the reason why you are standing here is because God has been good to you so you need to put your hands together you can clap clap tell the Lord thank you for the good things he has done for me if you remember where you were last year and where you are now God has been good to you verse 3 verse 3 he forgives all my sins are you born again are you born again have you accepted Lord as Christ and Savior of your life then that is also a reason to praise the Lord and then it says and heals all my diseases at one point most of us caught COVID even me but God has been gracious to me he has he has healed me of COVID of other diseases it's another reason to put your hands together and praise the Lord in Jesus name verse number four verse number four Akuna verse number four it is there he redeems me from death there are many people who did not see 2022 last night this morning at 8 a.m someone went but you're standing here it's another reason to praise the Lord and to worship him verse number five the last one verse number five he says he fills my life with good things say good things what what is our year this year it is our year of great increase I see good things coming to you you shall eat good food you shall smell nice you shall wear good clothes you shall have a happy marriage it is another reason to praise the Lord and last but not least it says my youth is renewed like the eagle at 55 you shall still be la 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 it's another reason to praise the Lord give the Lord a better praise amen you may descend to your seats in Jesus name are you happy to be here look at your neighbor tell them thank you for coming ask them did you invite someone to church today yeah so I want to take this opportunity to welcome to welcome you to this wonderful third Sunday of 2022 it's a blessing to be here and you all look wonderful from up here I welcome you so much our visitors online our visitors here physically in person welcome we love you we are a church that loves to say amen we are we are a church that loves to tell our neighbor when you're told tell your neighbor don't be afraid tell your neighbor when you see someone is tensed tell them relax we are just like this we are family tell your neighbor we are family yeah so if you see a face that you have never seen before just greet them show some love to them in the name of Jesus amen amen wonderful so I want us to um, have some announcements now say Tuesday every Tuesday from 6 30 we gather here for our encounter service and I don't know most of you where you are you know sometimes when when it gets to 5 30 and then you're in traffic you start telling yourself I see only come and tamik it is not nice tell your neighbor it is not nice make it a priority make it important that these services are very important to us it is when you gather it is when you come and listen to the word of God that you are uplifted you are exalted you are stirred up toward good works in Jesus name amen so I want to encourage you be here every evening our man of God is starting uh, some teachings this coming Tuesday and I believe we shall all be blessed concerning prosperity so do you want to prosper tell your neighbor see you on Tuesday 
6.30 p.m. Amen. Then I want us to be cautious. As you can see, our sanctuary is still under construction. So as you are moving around, be cautious. Watch out for the poles. Watch out for the rough edges so that you don't hurt yourself. And for all parents, please take care of your children. Usiseme, ah, akokwa sanctuary, they are safe. No, 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 no. Take care of your children. Ensure that they are not playing in the construction site. And I believe we shall all do well. Amen. Finally, say finally. If you work in the hospitality industry, not department, industry, say industry. And maybe you are called a chef, depending on the school you went, kunengine wanasema chef, or you are from Nyeri, you say chef. If you are the hospitality industry and you are a chef, a cook, there is a beautiful opportunity that I want you to, to engage in. I won't tell you about it now, but towards the end, evenings, I mean, towards the end of the service, I want you to just stay put and you will listen and know that this opportunity is one not to miss. Amen. Are we there? So if you work in the hospitality industry, keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, and I know something wonderful is coming up. Then um, I want us to turn our eyes to the screen and watch the Harvest News. Welcome to Harvest Family Church. This is where we compel, raise, and release. This is our year of great increase. We are so glad you are in the service today. We resume our normal services for the year 2022. Our midweek prayer services happen every Tuesday from 6.30 p.m. Our Harvest Group meetings every Thursday from 6.30 p.m. in your respective zones. The Ark Church Experience every Saturday from 11 a.m. And our main service every Sunday from 9 a.m. The work of God will be done by committed people. So this year, 2022, you must commit yourself to work and to serve the Lord. And if you don't make yourself a servant of God, forget about increase. Serve God by joining our department today. Join the ushering department this Saturday and let God use you to usher people into his temple. Lift up your hand one more time and say fresh oil. Fresh oil. For this week. For this week. Lord, Lord anoint me. Anoint for me. For business. For business. For marriage. For marriage. For whatever concerns me. Join us for our season of withdrawal from the first to the 5th of February. Welcome to our first Women of Excellence 2022 on the 29th of January from 2 p.m. Our theme is Upscaling and our dress code is Smart Casual. Invite a fellow lady. They were here even yesterday, just for that five or ten minutes clip. Uh, appreciate them once again. Praise the Lord, church. It's good to see all of you this morning. Tell your neighbor it's giving time. And it's a blessing time. And I mean it. This is our year of... What do we increase from? Tell your neighbor there must be something you have that needs to be increased. So what do you want God to increase for you? 
You know, I've discovered that every prophetic revelation is propositional. Tell your neighbor, it is propositional. It means it's a proposal. Or you think everybody will increase this year? Not everybody will increase. God is proposing to increase us. But yes, so you conform. You have to partner with God. So if you want God to increase your 50 bobs, he is very faithful. He will increase your 50 bobs. If you want God to increase your 100 shillings, he will increase it. Because he is faithful. If you want God to increase your air, he will increase it. If you don't give. So you conform to the, revel to the, to the declaration and the prophetic revelation by conforming. So you tell yourself that this year, I am going to increase in my giving. I have actually discovered that once you decide in your heart that you want to increase your giving, it's not your business to look for where the money will come from. God just sees your heart and drops it. I want us to make a decision today, and I need you to trust me. If it doesn't work, you come with stones a month from now and you stone me. I want you to purpose today that God from today I don't want to give you less than this amount of money. And I am telling you, every Sunday you come, that amount which you have put in your head now, you will never lack it in your wallet, in your handbag, or in your Mpesa. How many want to do the, the experiment? If you meet me, you either stone me or you give me a, a testimony. But I can assure you it will be a testimony. Yes, I received the testimonies already. Let's lift up our offerings to the Lord and say, Oh Lord, as we lift up our offerings and tithes to you this morning, are you praying? Oh Lord, as we lift up our tithes and offerings this morning, help our lives, our hearts, and our minds, and our spirits, Conform to the declaration that this is our year of great increase. Whatever we have purposed in our hearts to give, increase it in Jesus' name. Wow, let's welcome the Fresh Fire Choir. You love the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. God can be called a father. No other God can be called a friend. No other God can be called redeemer. No other God is coming but again. And how we love and how we love your name, Jesus, you're the beautiful one. We love your name. How we love your name, Jesus, you're the beautiful one. We love your name. No other God can be called a friend. No other God say. No other God can be called redeemer. No other. No other God coming back again. How we love you say. How we love your name, Jesus. You're the beautiful one.
love you, say, how we love you. King of kings, and how we love you. Lord of lords, Lord of how we love you. How we love you. King of kings, King of kings how we love you. How we love you. Appreciate the fresh fire choir. You can do better than that. Amen. Wonderful. So, you know, God has made certain investments in you. And you see, when you make an investment, one day you will reap from it. So, God has given you a talent. God has given you something you can use to serve Him. But what are you doing with it? When He comes back, what will you say? was his return on his investment. So ask yourself, do you have a voice? Ask your neighbor, do you have a voice? Do you have a throat? Can you sing? I'm giving you an opportunity to join the Fresh Fire Choir. Amen. Now, we, we, we need to catch ourselves sometimes. For example, when you're in a service, you can easily, your mind can easily drift. Something can be happening here, but either we can WhatsApp, Instagram, TikTok. Yeah, I hear TikTok is very addictive. Yeah, so you need to catch yourself because everything we do here is very important. Say very important. Yeah, and before I introduce the next minister, I want you to share. I want to, you to get your phones. Get your phones. Go to, hey, people don't, do not carry their phones into church today. <laughs> get your phone. Go to YouTube, Facebook, share the broadcast, copy the link, share it, and I believe God will bless someone as they are watching. Amen. So the next ministration is very important, also very important, and I want you to put your hands together and help me appreciate and welcome to this altar the gracious, the beautiful, the anointed, Pastor Liz, appreciate her.
So be patient, my brother. He that hastens to be rich, oh, he has an evil eye. Seek ye fast the kingdom of God, yeah, and his righteousness.
ngende anani beba bemeleza ye ni rafiki wa dhati akiaidi lazima tatenda yesu ni mfalme wa amani kuwa karibu naye natamani yesu sio mwizi lakini ameuiba moyo wangu yesu si polisi anifunge anani beba bemeleza ye ni rafiki wa dhati Let's appreciate our pulpit stars. Come on, let's appreciate our pulpit stars. Amen. Why don't you stand? Look at a neighbor, say hi to them. Tell them welcome. Let them know you are happy seated next to them. Yes, yeah, smile at them. Are you saying some of you are just standing there? I can see some people, some are greeters, and they are not greeting anyone. Ah, why are you shocking the people you greeted in the morning? Say hi to them, welcome them, make them feel nice. Amen. Now tell your neighbor, my neighbor, in this church, we believe in saying a big amen. We believe in preaching together with the preacher. We shout in this church. When a word hits you, a revelation hits you, you can start and say, Amen, that is my word. You are talking to me, pastor. Amen. So we are also a tell your neighbor or speak to your neighbor. So tell your neighbor, my neighbor, I want you to be happy. You must be happy. There is no compromise about that. You must be happy so that we all enjoy the word together. Amen. Are you ready to give Jesus a mighty shout of praise? Come on, celebrate King Jesus. Come on, open up your mouth and give Jesus a mighty shout of praise. I believe you can do much better than that. Jesus is here. The presence of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here. Come on, give Jesus a mighty shout. Amen. Are you ready for great increase? Then why don't you increase your shout and give Jesus another mighty shout of praise. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 47. Amen. This is the living Bible. Are you able to read with me? Want to go? No, you can do better than that. Want to go? These laws are not mere words. They are your life. Tell your neighbor the word that is about to be preached is not just mere words. They are not empty words. They are your life. Okay? Can we continue? Through obeying them, you... Okay, okay. Want to go? They are your life. Through obeying them, and there was a miracle in the screen. <laughs> Can we start together? Want to go? These laws are not mere words, they are your life. Through obeying them, you will live long, plentiful lives in the land you are going to possess across the land. Amen. So, today, God wants you to possess a long life but also a plentiful one a life full of abundance that word plentiful has many meanings it means of abundance it speaks of generous without limitation so if we obey the word that is about to be taught here if you hold it dear like it is your life you will see that your life and my life will change. Amen. And last Sunday, a man of God taught us about seven reasons why God wants to prosper you and me. So if God says, this is the reason why I should prosper you, hold them dear and you will see that your life will change. Are you ready to receive our prophet? Do you love the teachings of our man of God? They are our life. It is God who wants to change our lives. 
and make our lives better and better and make sure that we experience this great increase. Yeah. Amen. Do you have your notebook ready? Yes. Do you have your Bible ready? Yes. Have you left your amen at home? Have you left your amen at home? Do you have your amen here? Is your mouth here? Did you come here, the whole of you? Leaving nothing to chance. Why don't you clap your hand and open your mouth and let us welcome our senior pastor, our your prophet, my prophet, our prophet, Pastor Jimmy. Come on. I expect a miracle today. You can see. Are you expecting a miracle? Nothing is impossible. Shout a better amen. Come on, clap your hands and give the Lord a better shout. I can't hear your shouts. I can't hear your clapping. One more time, I expect a miracle today. I believe, I believe, God's word is still the same. I expect, I expect a miracle today. For with God, for with God, nothing, nothing is impossible. It's not possible. It's not possible. To to be Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Shout a better amen. amen. Are you receiving your miracle today? Amen. Then shout a better, louder amen. amen. Glory to God. Lift up your Bibles. Show us your Bibles. Hallelujah. Tell your, tell your friend, my Bible, my Bible is my personal person. Lift up your Bible, say, this is my Bible. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I can do what it says I can do. I can have what it says I can have. I can have what it says I can have. Somebody needs to say today. Today. I will be taught the word of God. I will be taught the word of God. And my life. Will never, will never, ever, 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 ever be the same again. Be the same by again. this word, by this word, by this word, by this word, I will greatly increase. I am greatly in 2022. In 2022. Somebody shout amen. amen. Where is your notebook? Some people don't have a notebook. Come on, come on, wave your notebook, say, just like my daddy. Just like my daddy. I take notes too. I take notes too. Inscribing. Inscribing. Subscribing. Subscribing. And prescribing. And prescribing. Now look at the neighbor who didn't have a notebook, a Bible, and ask them, yo, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Beautiful. Good morning and praise the Lord, Harvest. Somebody shout amen. 
It's good to see all of you. I want to um, announce that um, this coming Tuesday, I'm sorry I didn't make it this past Tuesday because of our um, uh, planning for our grandmother's burial. And we buried her yesterday successfully. And thank you for all who came by, all those who texted, all those who gave. May God bless you. Amen. Why don't you clap for your neighbor? Maybe they, you don't know, maybe they gave, they did something. Thank you so much. Receive appreciation from our family. And um, we pray that as you have watered us, so shall you be watered. In Jesus' name. Amen. Um, this coming Tuesday, therefore, we will be here. I'll be teaching. I'll start a new series, maybe a continuation of what I'm doing, but with a deeper kind of uh, in look and outlook. And so I don't think we'll be, I'm not sure we'll be on live because I want to say things for the serious people. Sawa. Our to inside our kujangi ma Tuesday, so our kubaliani sawa. Adam spoke kubaliana shaurienyu. That is how it's gonna be. So I want to encourage you, please, to come on Tuesday. I'll be here uh, this Tuesday because we are not. Nobody else is dying. In Jesus' name, Amen. And I believe it's gonna be amazing. Hallelujah. I'm doing a series called Oh Lord send prosperity now and i'm believing god that god is going to prosper us because he wants you to increase in the area of your finances amen now god's way is not the world's way amen god's way is different from the way the world discusses and talks about prosperity but i want you to know that you can have money outside God. You don't, have, you, don't, you don't need to have God to have money. Because we have a lot of people who don't have God. But they have a lot of money. But the, the increase of God is the most permanent increase. Amen. As far as finances are concerned. When God increases you. It is more permanent and more beautiful than the increase that comes out of just you being a hard worker. So, when we teach, we are teaching you about the blessing of God that makes rich and adds no sorrow because the greatest increase comes from the Lord. Amen. And today, I want to give you a secret to being increased by God. And I'm calling it divine direction. Divine direction. Direction and then you add divine or direction, divine or divine direction. Depending on how you want to understand it. <clears throat> when you hear the word divine, it means that a supernatural being is involved. A supernatural being is involved. And um, that is why it's called divine. If you say divine healing. It means that it's not the natural healing. It's a supernatural healing. And then we have what we call divine direction. Now that means that you are always ahead of, your, of the enemy because you know what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Amen. And a lot of people are not increased because they don't know what to do. They don't know how to do it. And they don't know when to do it. And they don't know with whom to do it with. And that is why we fall into the hands of many uh, con men. Because we are not listening with the spirit. We are listening with our flesh and greed. So when people give us uh, very amazing stories of how our money can triple. Yeah, you become excited because you are greedy and so you fall into the hands of con men and all that and that is why you find that many of us are not increased because of lack of divine direction hallelujah so I'm going to read for you a scripture in Isaiah 
Isaiah and then I'm going to teach you for a few minutes I will not take much of your time chapter 30 Isaiah 30 New King James Version Now that book is a bit um, I would like you to go and read it for yourself Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor Read Isaiah 30 when you get home From verse 1 eh? Sawa sawa Make it one of your, of your devotional books this week Okay Because it speaks about The rebellious children God is speaking to them and he's saying what will happen to them when you are rebellious it means you are disobedient to the voice of God and the Bible clearly teaches us what will happen to people who disobey God it says what to the rebellious children says the Lord whoa 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 let's look at it from another version the woe what sorrow awaits my rebellious children one of the signs that you are living in rebellion is sorrow all right and rebellion ni kichwa ngumu mtu kichwa ngumu hebu angalia kama jirani yako ako na kichwa ngumu hata mkiambiwa clap your hands you're just a rebellious person you don't do things you don't do things until you decide you want to do them. Rebellious people are disobedient people. And the Bible says that those people are full of sorrow. Full of sorrow. He says, you make plans that are contrary to mine. <laughs> you make plans that are contrary to mine. You make alliances. Not directed by by my spirit Aya Kumbe yo story yako ni maniko kwa scripture You make alliances that are not directed by my spirit Do you people believe God's word? God's word can draw you inaweza kuchora <laughs> Thus pulling or piling up your sins. So you pile up your sins. Because of making alliances with people that the Holy Spirit has not directed you. Verse 2. For without consulting me. 1, 2, 3, let's go. For without you have. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Let's start again. For? Uh huh. You have gone down to Egypt for help. You have put, continue. You have put your trust in Pharaoh's protection and you have tried to hide in his shade. What can you explain here? What that means is that when you put your trust in Egypt, you put your trust in the world system. Every time you see Egypt in the scripture, you should consider it as the world system. And Pharaoh is the, is the lord of Egypt. So you have put your trust in the world system and you have gone to the world system for protection. Sasa hapo ndiyo loans Zinaingilia or, or, and, and finding advice on social media It is finding protection In the world system You have tried to hide under his shade Under its shade But what happens? Verse 3 But by trusting Pharaoh Can we read together? But by trusting Pharaoh you will be humiliated and by depending on him you will be 
How many of you have never read that scripture before? Or even if you read it, you never understood it. Uh -huh. Are you seeing your life there? If you trust in the world and the system of the world, the end is humiliation and disgrace. Verse 4. For though his power extends, he has power. And his officials have arrived in hands. What will happen? All who trust in him will be... I can't hear you. He will not help you. Instead, he will... All the... When you see yourself trusting in the systems of the world, you need a... You, you don't feel like you can live without a spons, sponsor. Mubaba. You don't feel like you can, you can be promoted without doing things that are not right. You don't feel like you can get that job without bribing. Then the Bible says that you are trusting in the systems of this world and you will be disgraced. But this year, God wants us to change that attitude. Are we going to change that attitude? And we want to become a people that will consult God. Amen. So let's jump to verse 21. Uh, because of time. The Bible says, your own ears will hear him, God speaking. Right behind you, a voice will say. What will the voice say? This is the way you should go. Whether to the right or to the left. May you hear that voice this year. This year you will not guess. Your amen is not strong enough. This year you will not live by what we call happenstance. Ile flux. This year you will not be confused. Shout a better amen. Verse 22. Look at verse 22 guys. It says, then you will destroy all your silver idols and your precious gold images. You will throw them out like filthy rags, saying to them, good riddance. Verse 23, then the Lord will bless you with rain. At planting time, there will be wonderful harvests and plenty of pasture land for your livestock. I thought somebody would shout a better amen. Give me verse 23 on New King James. I think I've even finished preaching. Look at New King James. It says, then he will give you. Can we read together? One, two, three, let's go. Then he will give you the rain for your seed. With which you sow the ground. And bread of the increase. Of the increase. It will be fat. And plentiful in that day, your cattle will feed in large pastures. That's great increase. And it is only coming when you hear the voice of the Lord. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to submit to you that God speaks. God speaks. God is not like an idol that has eyes but cannot see. It has ears, but cannot hear. It has legs, but cannot walk. When you live and you have a relationship with God, you realize that God speaks. I want you to repeat after me. Tell your name or tell yourself or repeat after me and say, God speaks. Now, imagine you are visiting a wildlife park. Don't you need a guide? I have heard stories of people who went to Lake Nakuru, uh, the Nakuru National Park actually, and they got so lost that they had to find a guide. They had to call the, 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 the lodge to send someone to come and pick them from where they are. They were always going around. They could not see any animal. They could not see anything because they had said, Akuna, I just didn't know to use my barabara. You know the way Kenyans are. Yeah, you don't have to ask. Especially men. 
when we are driving and me I'm, I've been a, I've been a, I've been a culprit before and pastor Mas is saying let's ask these people he said no we know we don't want to ask and these guys in the national park they didn't want to ask they didn't want to pay for an extra guide and so they were moving around and they found that they were just moving and moving and moving and they got lost and it was now in the evening and they needed to come out and they have not seen anything why because they lacked a guide because a guide is the one who knows where you should go a guide knows where the dangerous animals are a guide knows where to find the lions i remember the last time i was at the mara our guide took us for kilometers just to see cheetahs cheetahs she told us that the cheetahs have been seen on this side of the mara we went for a whole day to see cheetahs just walking like this fortunately while we were going to find the cheetahs when you go to the mara you you wake up early in the morning to go and look for animals <laughs> that is why you wear a hat and shades and carry a camera here so that when you see an animal i don't know whether we use those photos anyway but you you just click i remember while we were going to see the cheetah we also met the lion yeah the lion just came next to our car like this i i was going to touch it but the holy spirit said hold your horses I remember Pastor Vasi saying, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and I, she was told, no, 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 just stay calm. And I told her, if I'm not running, why should you run? So that is why you need a guide to go and show you where the dangerous animals are. To tell you, don't pass here. If you pass here, your car will be stuck. We have found guys without guides stuck in the Mara and they have to keep asking for people help and the guys who should help them can't go there because they are wondering how in heaven did you go there because you lacked a guide so ladies and gentlemen I submit to you in the same token to walk in this wicked world you need God's guidance the world is so wicked. The people that you face out there are not born again. They don't understand honesty. They don't understand faithfulness. And so for you to be able to survive and increase and succeed in this wicked world, you need the guidance of God. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, God is more than willing to guide you. But many of us are rebellious in nature. So we don't consult God. And God is speaking in Isaiah chapter 30. And he's saying that you did not consult me. That is why you are about to be disgraced. And you are about to be put to shame and humiliated. Proverbs chapter 14 verse 12. Is a very important scripture. That all of us can read. The Bible says, if we can read together, I think you'll all enjoy it. One, two, three. The Bible says, there is a way that seems right. I can't hear you. But its end. That means that the way that looks okay with you, it has been weighed. On all logical mental balance and it appears correct but friends no matter how right a particular direction may appear it is not absolutely safe for no one knows the end from the beginning but God somebody shout but God so your life is safe in the hands of God 
So the Bible teaches us that there is a way when you look at it logically, when you look at it critically, when you look at it, which other way do you want to look at it? Scientifically, that way looks is the best. But according to God, he's saying that that way is leading you to death. So who knows what best way you should go? Somebody shout God. He knows. And you know, many of us don't trust God. That is why we don't believe that he knows what is right for us. And so this morning, I want to give you five benefits of divine direction. Five benefits of divine direction. Somebody shout, I need divine direction. Look. As I'm preaching to you, may God open your eyes to know what to do. May God open your ears to hear what you should do. Your amen is too weak, but I'll keep preaching. May God open your understanding to know what to do. Somebody say amen. Somebody say this year, I will not guess. I will not move until I know what I need to do. Yeah, as far as your finances is concerned, many people don't pray for a wife. You chose with your eyes. You didn't choose with prayer. Many of you are talking to me. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm say, i Many people don't pray for their spouses. Yet it is one of the most important decisions for your life. Many people don't pray about their investments. Even don't pray about their career. That is why you are in a career that you hate. But because you have to put food on the table, you have to go to a job you hate. Those who have a job. And then you have to sit in an office that you hate. And that is why you are full of sorrows. Because you did not consult God. Some of us are in deep losses. Financial losses. Because you never consulted God. And so as the year is beginning. I want you to learn and study how to consult with God. Na kwambia God ada kwambia what to do. God will let you know what to do. God will let you know who to marry. God will let you know where to invest your money. Hallelujah. And that is how increase is going to come. Because God only backs up what he has told you. God backs up what he has told you. So let's quickly look at the benefits of divine direction. Number one. When you are under divine direction, the first blessing you experience is what we call the unusual blessing. What, a, what are the experiences you have in your life? Unusual blessing. People who are divinely directed, they have unusual blessings. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verses 1 and 2. Ah, kwa common sense. That's okay. That's okay. Where in the layer? The Bible says, now it shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today that the Lord your God will set you high above. Well, how many of you would like to be set high above? But you must pay the price. What is the price? Diligently Obey the voice of the Lord. Whose voice? Whose voice? How should you obey it? Del not diligently. Diligently. Diligently near Pastor Gatoni. How will you obey the voice? Diligently. <laughs> A diligent obeyer of the voice shall be the bible says he will set you above you know why i'm sad right now is because even though i'm preaching many of you don't believe what i'm preaching 
Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, from now on, let's start obeying the voice of the Lord. The verse 2, the Bible says, and all these blessings, all these blessings, they shall come upon you. How does a blessing come upon you? If you diligently obey the voice. All all these blessings will come to you. And what will they do? They will overtake you. Unusual blessings. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Because of why? Because you obey the voice of the Lord. Are you on a Bible man? He said in a gun, come out too. Are you seeing it? The Bible says, because you obey the voice of the Lord, your God. Hey, put your right hand on your head and say, Father, help me to know your voice. Oh yeah, because some people, many, there, there are 12 kind of voices, which are, maybe I can share with you during one of the Tuesdays. 12 kind of voices. And each voice, the Bible says, is not without signification. That means that each voice that you hear, it has a significance. And if you follow that voice, there are results that you will have in your life. It will either be good, good results or bad results. But at least we know that the voice of God gives you blessings that overtake you. Can I hear an amen? So the blessing of divine direction is unusual blessings. Blessings that are overtaking you. This 2022. Because you will not be listening to your mind that has been moving you the wrong direction. Your friends who have been moving you the wrong direction. Pharaoh who has been moving you in the wrong direction. May the voice of God become a strong voice in your life. That will lead you to blessings. Unusual blessings. Can I hear an amen? Yeah. I cannot begin to tell you how God has blessed me by just following small voices. Small voices. He tells me, do this. When I do it, I see Allah. Allah. And everything God has told me to do, I was afraid. Because I, do, I, I could not see the end of that matter. I could only see When we were going to buy this land, we had zero zero money in the account to buy land no zero and i was there at galeria java negotiating for this land the wind was saying 50 60 million i said ah teremka bana teremka because i i was in prayer you know that morning the morning before i came to see this land i was in prayer i was telling god oh lord show us our land oh lord show us our land move us to our own land then somebody sent me a text T -t -t -t. He said, there is land in Rongai. I want to come and show you. I was still kneeling down, praying. I was praying about land for the church. Lord, show us the land. Show us the land. Then my phone beeped. So I decided to check. I saw somebody saying that there is land in Rongai, two acres, whatever, 55 million. I told him, come, what time will you be here? Let's go and see it. Then we came here. When I entered here, the voice of the Lord said, this is the land. Are we not in that land? <laughs> Are we not in that land debt free? Why can you clap for God because of speaking? He speaks. Do you know, some of my leaders who left, they, when they, were, they were discussing, they were having a discussion among themselves. And they said, why do we have to start with two acres? That is the voice of Pharaoh and Egypt. Why can't we start with a kakuota? Then we keep going. But God had said, this is your land. That is why if you follow God, you succeed. If you follow man, you become limited. 2022. If you believe in the voice of God, he will tell you what to do exactly. I'm telling you exacto, exacto. No more guessing. Somebody shout no more guessing in 2022. 
Ya. Mimi nimeona Mungu. Uliza jirani yako umeona Mungu wewe? <laughs> small voice, still small voice. You shall hear the voice. He shall tell you go to the right. Go to the left. Where it tells you to go. There is unusual blessing. Number two. All right. Amen. Number two, protection and preservation. Another benefit of divine direction is protection and preservation. Protection and preservation. Yeah. Protection and preservation. Exodus 23:20. Exodus 23:20. I'm finishing just now, please. Don't worry. The Bible says, Behold, I send an angel before you to keep you in the way. To do what? To keep you in the way. And to bring you into the place which I have prepared. So, the angel will keep you, protect you. And make sure you are preserved to arrive to your desired destination. I don't know whether you get that. Are you getting it? So every time you locate where God has prepared for you, for any given task, he is committed to protect and to preserve you in the pursuit of that assignment. Now, let me tell you something. When you don't know that God is with you, let's say, for example, in the job that you are doing, man is scared. You're always scared. You are always, when you hear that people are being sacked, you start shaking. Because that's where your preservation is. But when you know it is God who gave me this job, you know everybody else can be fired but me. Why? Because you understand that God has preserved. He, he's the one who told you to apply for that job. He's the one who told you, I will give you that job. But many of you, it is your uncle who gave you that job. It is your boyfriend that gave you that job. That is why if he sneezes, you catch a cold. You are under arrest. But when you know it is God who has done it for you, you know that you are protected and you know that you are preserved. That is why it is important for you to pray about every nitty gritty issue that concerns your life. When you know your husband has come from God, you don't need to become track it. I don't need to be here shaking. Where is my wife now? Who is talking to her right now? Is she really preaching at Kitengela? No. Because I know that God spoke to me about her. So it gives me a certain protection. And a certain preservation. The reason why you are so insecure. So unhappy. So sorrowful. Is because even you know. That even when you are dating your boyfriend. Even the dogs were barking at you to tell you. Don't go that direction. When they who are walking with your girlfriend or your boyfriend, the dogs will say, Who, 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 who? And it is God who was telling you, Stay away. You, you throw war, stones at them, they come back at you. Who, who? The, the, the dogs God was using because God can use even an animal. He used a donkey to tell a prophet, Don't go. When the prophet was adamant. He wants to go. The Lord said, let this donkey talk. The donkey started talking. Where? <laughs> so, the reason why you are always unhappy is because God spoke to you. But you forced it. You insisted. That is why if he goes to the bathroom, you run to his phone.
when he comes back you pretend you have not seen and you have sent yourself all the screenshots but guess what if you pray about it and you know that God led you to this man you know nobody can do near you because the Bible says, I send an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you into the place which I have prepared. So the best thing for you is to find which is the place God has prepared for me. Don't look at people saying, I think hardware deals in Abakisha. So let me start a hardware. Oh, I think I would like, I, I think Pastor Jimmy and I'm enjoying life journey pastor. So I think I'll start a church. Where answer? Come on, Mejituma. You will be the one to protect yourself. You are the one to preserve yourself. But if God sends you. Ah, if God tells you open that business. If God tells you apply that job in that department. If the Lord tells you become a member of parliament. If the Lord tells you enter politics then you will be protected and preserved. That's a blessing of being directed by God. But if you're directing yourself, do you understand? You keep losing. You keep crying. You keep suffering. Yet when we tell you, let's come for prayer, you will not come because God speaks to us in prayer when we are spending time with him when we say do quiet time you refuse when we say let's worship you refuse let us serve you refuse so ladies and gentlemen I'm here to tell you divine direction gives you protection and preservation all you need to know is where does God where has God prepared for me? Where has God prepared for me? Then he will protect it. Yeah. You see, this church was not started out of uh, uh, greed. I did not sit down and say, wow. Ronga kuna watu maze. Let's go and start a church in Ronga. Ah, oh, talk to a sotano, sotano, sotano. We'll be rich. No. I have never even thought of riches. I had a voice one day I was praying. You see, the, remember the stories. The secrets of men are in their stories. I was praying. I was walking to and fro at the altar. And I had a voice. A still small voice said that I want you to go and start a work in Rongai. I want to use you in Rongai. That's how I came to Rongai. Yeah. When I came, I can't tell you I've struggled. Never. Never. I'm sorry. And I will never. As long as I'm in the will of God, I will never struggle. Because God is committed to protect you when you're in his will. If you're in the will of the government, are you not protected by the government? If you come out of the will of the government, KRA, eh? DCI, <laughs> how about God? How about God? Now, Lisa, how about God? If a government takes care of you, if you're in its will, if you're doing what the government wants, they protect you, they give you security, they, just one handshake. When Raila said, now I'm in the will of the government. That's it. Cheska. I think even salary. Uh, everything. Everything is given by the government. That is government. Na mungu je. Ebu uliza jirani yako mungu je. Even me in my small power. As a pastor of this church. If you're in my will. I, I try to make things happen for you. If you're in my will. I try to make things happen for you. Oh yeah. How much more God. The moment you come out of the, my will. You decide I'm rebellious. Me and you, we disconnect. Anything that was coming from me to you, it stops. How much more God? Ask yourself. Number three. Am I making sense? 
So why are you crying? Because you did not ask God. You are not sure whether you are in the will of God. You used your eyes. You used your tama, appetite. Okay, kapa hundred thousand. One week. Itakuwa two hundred thousand. Eh! I am. Mm, two hundred thousand. Mutafaya nina yo? Where is Jali? Where is he borrowed about the two hundred thousand? You are like this, like a dog. <laughs> you, are, you are not being directed by God. You are being directed by your greed. Number three. Another thing that comes to you when you are divinely directed is what we call supernatural performance. Supernatural performance. Psalms 118 verse 23. Supernatural performance. The Bible says this is the doing of the Lord. Psalms, you have to be faster than you are. The guy on the whatever. Psalms 118 verse 23. The Bible says this give me uh, new King, uh, King James Version please. King James Version says this is the doing. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. You know, when I was trying to get married or to have a beloved in Pastor Mercy, I remember one time she refused me. Because she was choosing with her eyes. She was saying, I'm short. Even yesterday, I asked my cousin, what kind of a man do you want? She started by saying, taller than me. And I was there. Surely. You know, said he said she said I've dated short men. I don't. <laughs> I think she saw things that she has never seen before. So this is the Lord's way. So Pastor Mercy refused. You know, one time she woke up to go and pray, and this is the scripture that saved my beloved. This scripture I'm giving you now, because as she was praying, the Lord said to her, "This is the doing." This is my doing, and it is marvelous in my eyes. So, she wrote me in the night. I was sleeping, and we, I used to use my father's phone. So, because he left it to charge. So, when he goes to sleep, I go down. We chat, we chat, we chat. Then I delete all the chats. After we say good night, until the next day when we meet. Yeah. So. I went, I, I went downstairs because I was so disturbed I've been rejected. And I opened the form and I saw she was writing me text messages. There was no WhatsApp. She told me I've prayed. God has spoken to me today. He has given me this scripture. And this was the word. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. Yeah. Even to Liohana. Why? Because God is committed to do and to back up what he has told you to do. If what you are doing is not God who has told you, he is not committed to back it up. God is only committed to back up what he is doing or what he has said that has to happen. If he is in it, he will back it up. The results are always supernatural and marvelous. They become a sign and a wonder because they are beyond your ability and capacity. So ladies and gentlemen, the benefit of hearing God's voice is that he backs it up. And therefore, the results are supernatural. And the results are marvelous because he's backing what he is in. Amen. Amen. If he's not in it, he steps aside. So it is now your human effort. But if he's in it, it works like magic. You can ask Mr. Moilo how we build this church. We build it like magic. There are times that when it is starting, the next week is starting. Like, to, like now. There is zero money in the account. But there are almost a hundred workers here on Monday. And by Saturday... We have to pay all of them. 
You ask us how? We can't. You see, when you tell people who don't believe in the supernatural, when you when you tell them that God is supernatural, they don't believe it. They want explanations. But I have seen God supernaturally working in my life. I can't explain it. But why? Because he's in it. So this year, God must be involved in your life. If he becomes the one who is controlling you, and I'll show you maybe by the end of the service how he, in, how he speaks to you. And you allow him to direct you. You will see supernatural things. Give me my iPad, please. I'm not going back. Am I talking to somebody in the house? So look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, the reason why you are disgraced, the reason why you are unhappy, it is because you have not consulted God. Hey, look at your neighbor. Ask your neighbor, when was the last time you consulted God? Huh? But this year, there will be super... No, stop, stop, stop telling yourself things. Consult me. <laughs> you see, that's how you lead your lives. Unajiambia. Yeah, now you, are, now you have been embarrassed. God has a way of showing me things. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, neighbor, if you consult God, you will not be embarrassed. Amen. That is why you can never finish somebody that God is has sent. You can't finish. Me, people have tried to finish me, but it is impossible to finish me because I did not bring myself here. I was not, I did not send myself. I was sent by God. Yeah. Glory to God. People, some people think that it is their tithe that keeps me. No. From today, it is not even your employment that will keep you. It is the supernatural power of God. Shamariando Kapalia Mandala Kata. You will not be controlled by your CEOs, your whatever. You respect them. You, you work well. But let me tell you something. They don't hold the key to your life. The key to your life. The key to your prosperity. It is in the hands of God. And that is the God I'm introducing you to today. Receive divine power from God in the name of Jesus. Number four. Another thing that comes from divine direction is what we call divine abundance. Divine abundance. This is the doing of the Lord. is marvelous. Supernatural. Supernatural what? These are benefits of listening to God. So, Afadali, you don't move until he speaks. Don't move until he tells you. Yeah, please. Don't be in a hurry. Many of you are in debt. You moved before God told you to move. You see, God can tell you to borrow. Yeah. God can tell you to borrow. So your borrowing is either God has told you or your greed is telling you. Because there is a woman. The Bible says that the prophet uh, came, told the woman, go and borrow vessels from your neighbor. And then pour oil into them and then sell. God can tell you to borrow. God has asked somebody, go and ask this person to give us space. That's borrowing. Give us your space. So we want to use it. But if he has not told you to borrow. Are you listening to me, Wapendwa? God has not told you to borrow at the balcony. And you are busy, even when I'm in the service, you are looking at whether your full Lisa limit is 15,000 or 20,000. It will take you to pay for that thing. That is why you are depressed and suppressed because the direction of borrowing was not from God. Well, yeah. It was out of your greed and out of your lack of patience. 
So anyway, divine abundance comes from God. Can I hear an amen? amen? Second Kings chapter 17 verse 2. All the way to 16. I will not even read for you. The Bible says that God spoke to Elijah. And he said, go at the brook of Cherith. There is a brook called Cherith. Alright? Oh, some of you can see the whatever because of the reflection. Alright? And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. Da, 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 da. Continue. Verse 3. Again, da, 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 da. continue. And the king of Assyria found that. Continue. Then the king of Assyria came there and besieged in Thra. Continue. And in the ninth year of. Da, 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 da. Continue. First kings. Yeah, I think so. Nani uya kwa hapo leo? Amejituma. First kings. Did I say second kings? Me, I said second kings. Okay, I'm sorry. Did I say second kings? Or if I'm the one who said, then it's okay, I'm sorry. Then to Samayane. I said first kings. What, what are you talking about? It's first kings. Did I say second kings? You have written second kings. Nishetani. <laughs> Find somebody to blame. <laughs> Eh? Ni sound Ni echo Anyway And the word of the Lord came unto me And to him saying He's still starting the same way And the word of the Lord came uh, Get thee hence and return Wait please New King James I want you to see how God is specific Tell your neighbor wake up Wake up Why are you sleeping Somebody is handing you over keys Secrets Look at this Look who's don't be in a hurry. Afadali ukwe fifty. Now jolewa. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry to own a car. Don't force things. Don't be in a hurry to build a house. Some of you even even to buy a house on mortgage. Don't be in a hurry. You'll buy a house and you'll find that you don't even like it. And it's mortgage. Many of you are in houses that you can't fit anymore. Because when you were buying, it was just you and your wife. Then two children came. The third one came. The fourth one came. Then relatives started coming. Then now you have two house helps. And you are rushing to buy the house. Now your house is too small. And you cannot pay the mortgage. So you can't move to another house. Now it's a dormitory. But look at this guys The Bible says get away from here And turn eastward God is so specific He did not say go west He did not say go anywhere He said turn eastward And hide by a brook That is called what? Cherith And it flows into the Jordan So there must have been another brook Maybe it was called Corinth and probably it could have even been a better brook. But God told Elijah, there is a specific brook. You should go and stay there. There, I'll take care of you there. So the Bible says, verse 4, and it will be that you shall drink from that brook. Because there is a famine that is coming. The whole land is going to experience difficulty. But as for you, my servant, if you stay at the brook called Cherith, if you stay there, I will take care of you there. I will give you abundance there. <laughs> and I have commanded ravens to feed you there. Somebody shout divine abundance. Verse 5. The Bible says, so he went and did according to, he went and did according to the word of the Lord. When he did according to the word of the Lord, the Bible said he stayed by the brook. How could talk her? How could talk her? That is what happens to people who remove themselves from churches. He stayed there by the brook, which flows into the Jordan. And then what happened when he stayed there? Eh? The ravens. I don't know which ravens are supposed to bring you what. But in 2022. As you obey the voice of the Lord, let ravens bring you meat, bring you bread.
when you need it in the name of Jesus. Shout amen if you believe it. Somebody shout I will receive supernatural provision. Hallelujah. Kainichini, because I don't want to get excited. Morning bread. Evening bread. And meat. Ravens. Meat eater. It carries the meat. It's looking for you. Any raven that has been sent to you. Any miracle that has belongs to you. Nobody will eat it. I say nobody will eat it. You are tender. Your jobs. Your money. Nobody shall eat it. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Kama, there is a job that belongs to you. I call you to receive it now. Oh yeah. He drank from that brook. He ate from that brook. Because he obeyed God. There was divine provision. Sit down. You're blocking the big bosses. Hey. Okisoma, then, when the brook dried, the Bible says that God spoke to him again. He said, now go to a woman called the woman, the widow of Zarephath. Go to a certain place. There is a widow will come there to collect sticks. Tell that widow to cook for you. When you eat, and then you are satisfied. There will never lack food in the house of that. Look, there was a time. I have experienced this kind of instructions many times. There are times I've come here to the church. When the present worship is going on, I hear a voice telling me, give a certain offering. No, but no preacher is preaching. The worship is going on. The Holy Spirit tells me, give a certain offering. Yeah. If I don't have it on my phone and it's not phoneable, I call for my, my, my checkbook. Personal life. Personal checkbook. I write my different times in my life and ministry. I've had that voice. I've had a voice of give your car. Give this. Give that. I've given. I have never gone down because of obeying that voice. <laughs> yeah. Divine abundance comes as a result of obeying God. So the Bible says that the woman who is the widow of Zarephath, when she obeyed the prophet, and the prophet, when, she obeyed, when he obeyed God, they both had abundance until the end of the famine. So it is not because the economy is bad. Economy will be bad. But we who listen to God, who follow the voice of the Lord, we will be richer. I was reading another thing today, this morning, about a certain country in this Portuguese-speaking country. They were saying that a certain company became richer during the pandemic. It went into billions of dollars. Because in the pandemic, they changed a few things and they did well. And they became billionaires. Rolls Royce from they have been building their cars for 117 years. Just during the pandemic, they have, ne all the they have never sold more cars than they have ever sold during the pandemic for their 117 years. <laughs> so where were Ukisema? Oh, it's the pandemic, the Kubaya. There are people who are saying, whoa, 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 whoa. This pandemic, to me moka. And I want to tell you something. You are a child of God. God is the controller of heaven and earth. The Bible says silver and gold belongs to God. So whether there is a pandemic or no pandemic, that should not interest you. You shall walk in prosperity and abundance despite of the prevailing circumstances. If you're the one that I'm talking about, Shout a louder, Amen. How? I don't know. But I know that if I follow God, He will provide supernaturally 
from me. He will give me an idea to tap into that system. Whether there is January or not, you are not a January sufferer. January and you are happy to confess those things in January January even now some of my guys were joking about somebody who has added weight in January they were saying oh, no, we are. they were telling me perhaps oh, no, we are on a weight January and I was just laughing <laughs> you shall not be moved by the prevailing circumstances why? Because you are not moved by the economy. You are moved by the voice of God. It was a famine. But Elijah was eating well. It was a famine. But the widow of Zarephath had more money than she had when there was no famine. It was a famine. But Elijah would eat bread and meat and water every evening and every morning. Divine abundance. Do you believe in the word of God? Father, I enter into the realms of the spirit. I unlock doors for your children. I pray that in this season of 2022, that you will make people know they don't need to depend on the government. They don't need to depend on their company. But you can unlock divine abundance for them. And if you believe it, shout your loudest Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. 2022 will be the year you bought that car. 2022 will be the year you bought that land. 2022 will be the year that you, you built that house. While everybody else was shouting it is impossible, it shall be possible for you. Shout a louder Amen. I prophesy that prophecy into your personal life 2022 will be the year you will have traveled you will enter a plane and travel 2022 will be the year you'll pay your debts 2022 will be a year of divine abundance somebody shout abundance somebody shout abundance You see, as I'm preaching, I see God releasing open doors for some people. Receive your job. Yes, receive a call. And your job is coming in the name of Jesus. You know, last, last, last Sunday when I finished preaching, let me share a testimony with you. You know, I don't know whether you, you like testimonies. Testimonies are, are good because they show you God is in the community. Hmm? you see somebody came and shared with me and told me that this thing you are teaching is happening I said ah oh, really he told me yeah he told me I, 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 I just sold a house yeah even I mean he wrote me a text he said uh, that they started the selling the process of selling uh, another house now he sold a house then he had started building another one to sell before he could even finish somebody has come to buy the house and it's in january it's in the mind that you think that january cannot work for you January. He has bought. Look, let me read for you. Unajua. Okay, what you need to know? I'm trying to jua. He says that we started the process of selling this week. The house was in the market for only one week. Cause I finished painting on 31st December. And one week later, I had a buyer. Yeah, and then he has written to me reasons why God wants us to prosper. Yeah, reasons why God wants us to prosper. He has written to me that as a 
as a way of showing me how powerful the message was. You, you are there. Instead of listening and receiving, you're criticizing me. And I'm here to tell you, if God directs you, do you understand? Even the people can flood the market. But you, because you heard from God, they hear from what they see others are doing. And there are people who hear from God. Yeah, there's somebody who told somebody that I saw how Pastor Jimmy was doing well with the church in, uh, in Rongai. I decided I would also go and start a church in uh, Rongai. Yeah, that guy was suffering. Up to now he's suffering. Because he's not directed by God. He is being directed by what he's seeing somebody else is doing. 2022. It is not the economy that will make you. It is the voice of God that will make you. It is not your employment that will make you. Oh Lord, give me a hundred people that just believe this word. A hundred people that just believe this word, oh God. That it is not what they think that makes them, makes them. It is God that will make you. It is God that will give you abundance. I want you to repeat after me. He said, it is God that will lift me this year. It is God that will give me abundance this year. This year, you will never go below 100,000 in your account. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hey. Hmm. I have to end the Final. I'm prophesying, but some people are not encouraging me. Amen. Number five, the other blessing. I think I'll finish with number five. Then next week, I'll talk to you on how to access divine direction. And then I'll talk about your tomorrow sign. Number five, what it does, it terminates. When you are directed by God, you terminate tension. Okay? And you have ease. When you know God has sent me, you remove tension and you have ease. And so you can put, it's on the same point. You remove tension and you have ease. And you become more than a conqueror. You become more than a conqueror. When the Lord directs you, tension comes out. Like I said, if you know God is not in it, you think that you have to use your power to keep it. So you are full of tension because you have to keep fighting to keep that thing. If it is a boyfriend, you have to keep fighting to keep the boyfriend. Or girlfriend or something or your job. You have to become a connector. Some of you are here, but you are very bad people in the office. You are like Jezebels. Very bad, and you're in here, but you are a very bad person, and you're in this church. You must change because you think that unless you play politics and do things, you chimbia this one so that they come down. Look, what is yours is yours, nobody can take it away from you. I don't know whether you understand, you don't have to pull people down. There are no people that pull people down like fellow Christians. Yeah, when you see somebody is getting married, you start spreading bad things about the person. It's like you are unhappy that they are getting married. As an amoa, an amoa, as what a kwa kikula ni. Before wa kwa wa kikula wa wa wane wa likuwa na kula kwa ko. You are a bad person. You go and tell the boss, no, 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 so that the person, you think that if the person is demoted or sacked, you are the one to be promoted. Huh? Yeah. You will never see that promotion. You are a bad person. I pray for every bad person in the church to change to a good person in the name of Jesus. I know you are waiting for what type of prayer it will be. May you change into a good person. Yeah, they hate me. 
Yeah. They feel that I'm here to get their money, whatever, and they don't give. But the more they hate, the more I'm, I'm going. Sasa wakuna mawaru. Ma, 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 ma. Ma? Ala spa da kutumia jelo, anda kutumia zile mawaji. But you see, let me tell you something. No, if God was going to make you, our lives dependent on you. You. If you are going to be the God of our lives. <laughs> the way you are. We will be dead by now. But I'm here to tell you, my friends. God will prosper you. Despite of your uncles in the village. I'm trying to say my men, but it Despite of your uncles in the village, despite of the witch doctors in the village, you will do well because the presence of God will protect and provide for you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Actually, the beauty of prosperity is prospering in the midst of your enemies. The Bible says, "I will lay a table before you." in the presence of your enemies there is no beauty of the table if there are no enemies are you listening to me there is no beauty of your table it is nice to drive your new car in the presence of your enemies this 2022 I am a man of God I have not eaten ugali I'm here to prophesy by the grace of God you will do well you will do well because you shall hear a voice and the voice will tell you turn to the right this is the way that you should go and when you go on that way you shall find success you shall find prosperity you shall find do well receive it now receive it now i find every voice that is not the voice of god that has been sent to confuse you to confound you and to make you not look at the right direction receive only the voice from god shamarintro kosele krapranta lunta la malinti lizikala lahada i prophesy to somebody what has been holding you for a long time it loses you now enter now enter now enter now into prosperity shout amen divine direction shall be your portion i want us to have communion but we have before you have communion let me show you something in isaiah chapter number 30 bona sifiwe bona sifiwe i think you should do a prophetic act Everybody stand up on your feet. A prophetic act is something you do to show that you're prophesying. I want you to walk five steps forward and say, I am entering into my prosperity. One, two, three, four, five. Give the Lord a shout and say, I'm entering into prosperity. Shout, yeah. Somebody say, I'm entering into my prosperous moment and i will never go below where i am in the name of jesus now lift up your hands and say lord direct me order my paths order my steps create a path for me in 2022 shout amen if you believe it shout amen if you believe it you will prosper in the midst of your enemies you will prosper in the midst of your enemies. You will do well in the midst of your enemies. The economy will not matter. The economy will not matter. Your education will not matter. In the name of Jesus. Whatever belongs to you. I give it to you. I give it to you. I give it to you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. 
Clap your hands and give the Lord a shout. Ha! Ha! Hey! 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 Ha! Ha! Sit down. The service might change. If I was building the church like our church now, you will not sleep. You know the stress involved. You know, if you have built something before, you know you will not sleep, isn't it? You wonder how does this guy sleep? Yeah, and we don't owe anybody. Nobody. It's debt free. Yeah. That is to tell you it is God who directed us. So there is ease. Somebody shout ease. That's what happens. When you know it is God, you receive ease. As we take communion, by the way, many of you don't, and I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll, I will teach you one of these days why we take communion. Because some of you, the mind you have is a religious mind. And that is why you, um, you don't take communion. Communion is for your benefit. Okay, yeah, it gives you supernatural powers to do certain things. Yeah, 
your blood, the blood of your Kamba blood cannot help you. Yeah. Your Kamba blood, it cannot help you. You can even see Kalonzo has not become president. <laughs> I have a friend of mine who is always giving examples with Kalonzo Bosioka. I don't know why. And until I asked him, what did Kalonzo Bosioka do to you? You know. So your, your Kikuyu blood cannot help you. Even when uh, uh, the president is Kikuyu, there is no change that has happened in your life. Yeah, that is why I wonder why people fight for their, their tribe uh, person to be the president. It doesn't help anybody. So what helps you is God. And the blood that you are holding in your hand is the blood of Jesus. Today, we replace your Kikuyu, Luya, Luo blood with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus knows no failure. So you shall not fail. You shall not fail. The blood of Jesus knows no sickness. You shall not fall sick. You shall not die. Amen. Quickly, as we hear the song, please. doesn't have blood you need blood transfusion but this side blood body Marlin behind you quickly 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 we need body okay we need the body of Christ on that side quickly Esther, that side. Can you lift up your hand so that they can see you if you need the body of Christ? Who need the water of Jesus? Water. lift up your hand so that Moses you have, you have the blood and the body wonderful so this is the body of Christ the Bible says on the night that Jesus was betrayed he took the, the bread and when he had broken it he said take it this is my body that is broken for you I'm praying that as we keep eating and drinking, eating the body of Christ and eating, that 
whatever the body was broken for will become our portion. So he was broken that we may be made whole. May your life be made whole by the body of Christ. Nothing lacking, that is what it means to be whole. Nothing lacking, whether it is a spiritual thing or a, or a physical thing, nothing lacking. I pray that whatever cannot stay in the body of Christ will not stay in your body. Yes, cancer cannot stay in your body. Itching cannot stay in your body. As you take this body today, let every disease that has been brought by demons be flushed out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Poverty also cannot stay in the body of Christ. I mean the Bible teaches us that Jesus even though he did not have anywhere to lay his head. The Bible says he was made poor that we may be made rich. Receive the riches that come from the body of Christ. Spiritual riches, health, balance, a sober mind. I pray that as you take this body, your mind will be sharp. Sharp mind. You'll have wisdom. You'll know what to do because of the body of Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, the body of Christ. Now, life is in the blood. Life is where? In the blood. When the blood is drained out of you, you die. When they want to check diseases that are affecting you, they check your blood because life is in the blood. Today, you hold in your hand the blood of Jesus. The Bible says that the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Right now, in the name of Jesus, power enters that drink and it becomes the blood of Jesus. Whatever is evil, whatever is ungodly, whatever you don't like seeing in your life that runs through your bloodline, be it diabetes, be it heart problems, be it death, be it lack of marriage, be it any lack of prosperity, whatever runs through your bloodline, because of the family you are born in. Today, by the reason of this blood, we flush it out. I say we flush it out. You are no longer under the blood of your family. You are under the blood of Jesus. Whatever dream, whatever vision that had died, whatever prosperity had died, whatever beautiful thing that you had that had died, even your love for God had died, Today, even the, you know, your, your service to God was dying. As you take this blood, let life enter you now. Life, revival enters you now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Demons cannot touch you. The blood of Jesus take, keeps the angel of death away. COVID-19, accidents, evils that come to take our lives. Shame embarrassment as we take the blood you are covered by the blood you are covered by the blood the blood of Jesus huh. why don't you open your mouth and begin to thank him tell the Lord thank you for your body whatever is in your body is in my body now thank you for your blood we receive the blood. We receive the covering of the blood. I receive a new mind because of the blood. I receive a new zeal and energy and strength because of the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood, my Lord and my Savior. Thank you because, because of the blood, I will obey your word. I will obey your voice. In the name of Jesus, addictions are breaking. Sickness is leaving you. I pray for somebody who came in sick. Receive healing now. 
Receive healing now. Receive healing now. Ah, give me two more minutes uh, as I pray for you to receive your healing. Those who are watching us online, uh, receive your healing. Receive your breakthrough because of the blood, because of the body of Christ uh, that was broken for us. Uh, Father, release jobs. Uh, release jobs. Uh, release jobs. Uh, release financial breakthroughs. Repaparia uh, bakatalabaya. Marital breakthroughs. Marital breakthroughs. Receive marital breakthrough. Receive marital breakthrough. Receive spiritual breakthroughs. Receive physical breakthroughs. May you be remembered. May you be remembered. In the name of Jesus. Healing in your stomach. Healing in your mind. Healing in your lungs. Healing in your body. Healing on in your eyes in the name of Jesus. Receive healing in your ears. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Your heart. Receive healing now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the blood. Thank you for the blood. you wave at him and tell him thank you your miracle in the name of Jesus this week before Wednesday and before Friday there must be a testimony on your lips I said there must be a testimony on your lips there must be a testimony of provision a testimony of preservation a testimony of protection a testimony of divine breakthroughs a testimony of divine abundance Lift up your phones, lift up your phones. I prophesy to your phone. That phone is an agent of good news. Receive empesas in your phone. In the name of Jesus, receive emails that are bringing good news to you in the name of Jesus. Receive a good doctor's report. In the name of Jesus, receive a call from an important person receive a call from a remembrance receive it in the name of jesus christ i prophesy and i decree it is done and you clap your hands and give the lord a shout of praise as you sit down on your on your seat i'm going to take a final offering tell your neighbor important offering why do we take two offerings we take two offerings because sometimes you give before you hear the word. And then it is important that after you have heard the word, you sow into the word. Okay? That is number one. Are you listening to me? If the word you feel God has spoken to me, you sow into that word. You say, I'm giving for that word is my word. Number two, we take a second offering to support the building. The work that we are doing here as well amen the first offering will still build but also a second offering is a booster to boost us to enable us to continue the work amen you know it might not look like much money but it does a lot of work for us somehow god just multiplies our money and so i want you to give even for those reasons number three 
we give as a way of sowing seeds because the Bible says what you sow is what you reap hallelujah if you sow money seeds you will reap money seeds I also want to encourage you to become a tither a faithful tither if the church was a tithing church if a hundred percent of you are tithing we will be able even to by now we'll be putting windows tell your neighbor windows so I want to encourage you to pay your tithe don't eat your tithe if you eat your tithe you are also positioning yourself for trouble hallelujah these are my preaching zot and you are a tithe eating Christian it is not good for you amen I hope we'll get to that point at some point amen now father let me pray for you as you give father I pray for them as they give that you will increase them and that the three reasons why we give will become a great blessing to them as they put something on the altar bless them and increase them in Jesus name and everybody says amen all right quickly come and bring your offerings as they sing for us a nice song amen everybody should be part of it don't say I already gave I've given you reasons give and it shall be given back to you in Jesus name even if you're watching us online we are giving a special second offering in Jesus name want you to change tell your neighbor change. change so next Sunday you'll see that I have finished maybe before 12 ah. yeah you see you don't know God as I'm taking communion the blood of Jesus is also changing me <laughs> so uh, we are going to be very very serious with time because I want us to start a second service wow. yeah uh, soon when we fill the balcony and fill down here for the first service will start a second service but I want to ask you how do you think the balcony will be full and the church will be full give me a suggestion By inviting people huh? By I can't hear you it's like you have gone when when you are receiving money you are shouting more by doing what inviting, people to inviting someone to church 
So next Sunday, I want you to bring one person. Imagine all of you, if you are obedient and you brought one person, you will be surprised. And look, we don't want the church to be filled so that we can brag. No. Every time there is a person in the church, it's a soul. And if God's word changes you, it will change them too. Yeah. Amen. 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 How many of you were invited here before? Somebody invited you to church. Wave at me so that I can see. Somebody. So the ones who are not waving, you invited yourself. <laughs> oh, wow. You're powerful. And how many of you, by you being invited, your life has taken a nice turn and a good turn? Amen. Would you like somebody else to experience that? So can we do it? Yeah. Can we do it? Let's invite people. There are many, look, there are many thousands of people, thousands that are not going to church. They are stressed and they are dying in the house and all they need is a word from the Lord. Amen. 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 Recently, I received a, 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 I think it was, um, uh, a, a dream last last week somebody dreamt i don't know whether i should share with you the dream yeah, yeah. i'm not making it so that you we finish at one but i'm trying to share a dream today this is somebody who had a dream today my dream was about church what pops was saying about church increase there was an influx of people me and my kids were running to secure seats. The compound was full of cars hey. that were blocking our way. Then Pops arrived with a private jet. Hey. We believe in dreams. And he, was, he arrived with a private jet and security that looked like police <laughs> running around him. H, my God. That is how the person wrote. H, my God. So, so look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, become part of the prophecy. Part of the prophecy. And let's fulfill the prophecy. I will invite Pastor G to quickly release the visitors. Who is releasing? Pastor Okay, Pastor Victor, releasing the visitors. Let's appreciate him as he comes. Amen. God bless you. I love you and I see you prospering and doing well. The prophecy you believe is the prophecy that will practically happen in your life. Why don't you appreciate our Father? Appreciate our prophet for laboring in the Word. What a word. Our lives will never be the same again. Amen. I said our lives will never be the same again. Amen. Beautiful. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Wow. I want to encourage us to also subscribe to podcast. Podcast is an online cloud where we, you know, we can find the messages that have been preached by our prophet. So if you don't have podcast, please let us meet at the information desk where you'll be guided how to subscribe. You must listen to the word over and over again for it to bear fruit in your lives. Amen. Amen. So if you are an Android user, you need to download Podcast Addict and you search Jimmy Masharia. You subscribe and you start downloading messages. If you are on iOS, it automatic, automatically comes with a phone. So you don't need to download it. You just need to search Jimmy Masharia. And even the message for the new year was already uploaded on podcast. I've listened to it almost five times and I'm getting so blessed. Amen. Are you going to do that? Yes. Once you do that, you'll be so blessed. I want to release our first time visitors. If you're visiting with us for the very first time, you are invited by somebody to church. You've never been here. I would like you to rise up on your feet and we're going to take you to a nice place. We're going to fellowship with you for just 10 minutes. You get to know us as we get to know you better. The ladies in hospitality in um, denim and black are standing on the aisles. If you're a visitor, kindly raise your hand. Raise your hand wherever you are. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. I can see hands going up. Visitors, don't be afraid. Let's appreciate our visitors as they rise up. Please stand. If you're a visitor, stand. 
Stand, stand, stand wherever you are, all over the place. If you invited somebody, please check whether they are standing and let's help them go to a nice place as we sing this song for them. We love you, our visitors. Come again and again. visiting us for the second or third time i'd like you also to stand up on your feet if you're visiting us for the second time this is your second time to come third time to come please rise up please rise up wherever you are don't be afraid are there third time visitors second time visitors i can see them rising up let's also appreciate them we're also taking them to a nice place third time second time visitors From the balcony, you can come down. Beautiful. Also, if you are in the New Believers class, you have recently joined the New Believers class. We would like to also take you to a nice place where we're prepared for your class. So if you're here, you've registered for the New Believers class, please rise up on your feet. Quickly, quickly, if you're a new believer and you have registered for a class, are they here? Are they here in one, two, three? All right. If you are shy, please stay behind after the service. Amen. I want to remind you, Tuesday we are meeting here for our powerful prayers and of course the teachings from our prophet. Please make a point of being here on Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Fight traffic, leave work early and come and you'll be so blessed. Amen. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, on Tuesday, I want to be your neighbor. I want to be seated next to you. And the prophet said they will not be online submitting this Tuesday. The online will not be there. So make sure you're here and get and receive teachings of prosperity that will take you to another level. Amen. And then this Friday, tell your neighbor Friday and Saturday, if you are a church worker, if you serve in any department, are you telling your neighbors? Tell your neighbor, neighbor, we are meeting here on Friday for a camp from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. And on Friday, or on Saturday from 9 a.m. Are you telling your neighbor? Tell your neighbor, Saturday, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So come and let's have a great time. Trainings, departments will be doing their trainings. We'll be taught on how it is to serve the Lord, how we can serve the Lord better. And I'm sure God is going to bless you. Amen. And then if you belong to, I mean, if you are in hospitality industry, as it was announced, and you have passion, you have passion with cooking and all these things, catering, please stay behind after the service. We meet right at this point on my right where the choir is. If you, have, if, you are, if you are passionate about cooking, hospitality, and all these things, let's meet here, and we'll have a small and a short word with you, and you'll be blessed. Amen. Amen. Beautiful. Why don't you rise up on your feet and uh, hold somebody on your left and on your right as we sing this song that says we love the family of God. Amen. Beautiful. Sing it. You're my brother
appreciate the family of God.